At this point, we've seen it more times than anyone can count. Flash flood deluges, dropping trillions of gallons of water, seemingly out of nowhere and often ending just as abruptly. We're going to start this morning, though, in Houston, where a state of emergency is in effect at this hour as this city de deals with massive flooding from torrential rain. In other news this morning, storm weary parts of the south are dealing with even more downpours and heavy flooding. It is severe weather and tornado systems once again ravaging parts of the Midwest overnight. Severe weather is once again lashing parts of the Midwest and South with powerful tornadoes, heavy rain, hail. Evacuations are underway in parts of Southeast Texas this morning due to record flooding there and even more rain is coming. And now to the South where relentless rainfall has devastated parts of Texas. Right now, 22 million people across Texas and Oklahoma are under flash flood watches. This isn't just happening in the United States. All over the world, these inexplicable events are occurring, washing entire towns away and crippling metropolitan cities. Parts of Northern Europe have continued to be lashed by torrential rain, bringing extensive flooding to Belgium, Germany and France. Paris has never experienced so much rain in May since records began in 1873. Scenes like this along the River Seine have been known in winter, but not in June, although it's not putting some people off. This is not a river or a canal, but a motorway, the A10 near Orléans. Hundreds of people became stranded on Wednesday. The army intervened to take them to emergency centres. Remaining in their cars, obviously not an option. In some parts of northern France, getting around is a question of improvisation. Streets are no longer streets, but canals. Fire crews have been called out hundreds of times, having no other option but to travel by boat. Here, as much rain fell in 24 hours as normally falls in the whole of May. In December 99, the river Lave reached 3 meters 31. Now we've beaten the record, 3 meters 42, 11 centimeters higher. A summer's day in Prague. Tourists come here from around the world to stroll across the medieval Charles Bridge. On Tuesday afternoon, they were forced to run for cover. The Czech capital was one of several European cities hit by heavy thunderstorms. This was the scene at the weekend in the southwestern German town of Braunsbach. Whole parts of the centre were simply washed away, the water carrying with it anything in its path. In some streets, the damage looks more like the aftermath of an earthquake, the floodwaters having subsided, Residents have been trying to clear the rubble and mud and survey the destruction inside their homes. This man fears his business may have suffered damage costing a million euros. Within five minutes, the water levels rose from nothing to a stream, an incredible stream. And the worst thing is we don't understand how this could happen. We don't know. All meteorologists will tell us is that it is somehow part of climate change. But as you can see with your own eyes, these massive bursts of water vapor don't come from the oceans. Time and again, they burst up from the landmass and fall right back down as deluge. It's not the exception, it's the rule.
You won't see a major rain event happen any differently anywhere in the world. How can this be? Where can so much water be coming from? The answer is shockingly simple, easily visible and explains the real issues of climate change that meteorologists and scientists refuse to acknowledge. Six thousand gallons per minute evaporated by each of these cooling towers at Exbro power plant. Forty-eight thousand gallons per minute from all eight towers. Two million eight hundred and eighty thousand, almost three million gallons per hour from this one power plant. 7,000 power plants in the United States. Sixty-two thousand five hundred power plants worldwide. This in plain sight method of making rain exists to address one glaringly obvious global problem. Two thousand sixteen was the hottest year on record, and of the seventeen hottest years on record, sixteen have now occurred since two thousand.
If you can understand what happens when you make a cup of tea, you can understand where trillions of gallons of rain come from. Learn the truth about flash floods before you live through one. Weather War 101 has 20 years of research to prove every bit of it. Weather War 101 needs your help now more than ever to bring the truth about global warming, climate change and flash flood disaster to light. Please contribute whatever you can to this singular work and this critical film and help the people of this planet finally understand. All of our children's futures depend on it.